Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Louisville Coaches Show with Tony Matizzi, the first-year head coach here at the Louisville uh, Rockets with the boys. Second stint with Louisville as a whole, 32, 32nd year, rather, uh, as a whole, as a coach. This is all brought to you thanks to RC Compounding, um, right? Yep, got it. Nailed it. Nailed it. I'm going to mess that up, guaranteed. But they are not going to mess it up when you need them. Uh, make sure you contact RC Compounding. Tony, it's such an honor to sit down with you once again. You and I have been through the ring over the last eight seasons here on YSN. It's good to see you back at the helm and, and certainly back at the helm of your hometown. Yep. Second stint. Talk to me about, you know, when you take over a new position, uh, what you're looking for. I mean, you've, you've done girls basketball, you've done boys basketball. When you see that roster for the first time, what are you looking at and how do you kind of game plan around your season? DJ, um, because, you know, uh, this year is kind of different for me going from girls to boys, but it's also different. We don't have any returning varsity kids. They graduated everybody. So we're also trying to get these JV kids who were last year and, and trying to mold them. They've never played together. They've never played, but they very little varsity experience. Um, so it's taken a while. It's taken a while, but I've seen in the last three or four days that we're we're turning a little bit of the corner here. When you look at that and you don't see the experience that you necessarily want to as a head coach, how do you build that experience in the off season so that way you're ready from from the jump? Lean on the upper class. <laughs> sure. You know as much as we can, um, while again also trying to get the younger kids the experience of game time on the floor so that we're not in that position year to year. Um, it's a process. It's sure. a process. When you come in your hometown, a lot of people feel pressure because it's the place that they grew up. Your second stint, as we've already talked about, do you feel any pressure this time around for the, from the winning side of things, or, or what's the ultimate goal for you? What's the mission this year at Louisville? Because of our what our uh, class, our team encompasses uh, with no experience, we, we want to try and be competitive. Yeah. We're hoping to be competitive in every game. We're hoping to win the game. It's an old cliche. Win yeah. the games you're supposed to and be competitive in the ones you, you'd like to be. Um, I've always preached, DJ, of every time you step on the floor, get better. Get better, whether it's a little step, whether it's a big step. But when February rolls around, you, you want to be playing your best basketball. Well, that's, I was just going to say that. Coaches tell me all the time, and I believe you were one of them, that said there's really two seasons within a basketball season. There's before Christmas and after Christmas. Yes. Walk me through why that is, why you feel that way. Because it is so new to each group, each class coming yeah. in, um, they're experiencing everything new. Um, and then, for example, we haven't had a game yet, but our first game Saturday, we've got six games in 13 days, which is crazy. It's going to throw them right into the fire. But then when Christmas break rolls around, that Christmas, everything slows down. And, and that's when you start teaching again. That's why you start uh, trying to get better every day. The, the substitutions have to be heavy. I mean, to be able to get into midseason basketball form is something that really should uh, take until midseason, especially when you talk about the, these kids that are coming from football or other sports to play basketball. For you, when you look at that, what's the endurance piece of that? How do you get them up to snuff without necessarily waiting until the middle of the season? I've always hated, uh, you know, as a player, as a coach, just running. Yeah. That, that, that's – so every drill we do, it, they don't know it, but they're getting in shape because we're running and, and doing something with that drill instead of just, you know, running, running, running. That, I try to make it fun. That, that's the main point of this thing. No, nobody's going to the NBA. So, you know, just play basketball and have fun. That's what it's all about. Your high school experience should be. You've had a great opportunity to coach some of the best players in this area has had to offer, boys and girls. When you think about it, how much do you feel like, and, and this is going to sound weird, it's going to sound almost terrible question, but how much do you feel like you were a part of that going up to it, and, and how much do you keep a hold of those players that, you know, obviously, like you said, nobody's going to the NBA, WNBA, but how does that relationship continue to exist and, and continue to excel over the years after they're done on the hardwood? It's crazy. I wish I could show you a text I got yesterday from a girl who's uh, putting her application in, you know, telling me what a great and, – and, you don't realize this when you're coaching, but she said some things that almost made me cry. Yeah. And, you know, and you don't realize you're making that impact. Um, 
that that's what it's all about, DJ. That's that's what it's all about. One of the the coolest things is is watching you coach in a gym because it's not the authoritative. It's not a general led. It's it. You lead from the front. You have fun with these kids. You make sure that when they come to practice, they they know that there's an expectation, but you also keep the game fun. Why is that so important to you? I think because you know I've gone through it. Uh, a million people have gone through it. I've gone through my own son's playing. Mm -hmm. I know the parent. I yeah. know the coach. You know, I know every aspect of it. And it, there's just so much pressure on these kids nowadays. you got to let them have fun. you got, got to. We talked a little bit before we got on the air. Uh, you've got to be incredibly proud. Your, your son's all basically following in your footsteps the coaching route. The coaching tree doesn't – I guess the coaching apple doesn't hit farther from the tree. I, I mean, they're doing an unbelievable job. Uh, at, w at what they're doing in the obviously in the classroom on the on the court um, and, and doing it the same way that you did what does that mean to you so proud yeah I, I can't explain it I, I can't get anybody to understand it but so proud um, did you see that was happening as they were coming up they all coach with me at some level but yes. like when they were playing did you say oh, that he could be a coach no and look at that smile no no, no, no. <laughs> I mean but and I didn't you know didn't push them any one way or the other, but you know, I, I joke with my oldest two who are high school. I says, "You, you made me quit. You made me quit girls and made me go to boys because they kept beating my butt the last couple of years." But um, DJ, they are so much smarter than me. Yeah. I mean, and that's the thing. I'm. That's what I, you want, right? Oh yeah. Always. Yeah, As a dad, yeah. you want your kids to be yeah. better off than you. Yeah, and and they're so knowledgeable, so basketball smart. And, and I'm, I'm amazed. I truly am. Let's talk about this year's roster. I mean, who do you got that we're going to be looking at on YSN and, and counting on to hear their name a couple times during the broadcast? Uh, my, t my three seniors, uh, Liam, who you'll have later, uh, Bruce, and um, Vince Sullivan. Yep. Uh, they're my three seniors. I've been leaning on them. But we've got a bunch of uh, good juniors, a sophomore, Drew Medelsky, Josh Paisel, uh, Josh – what a wide receiver he was this year. <laughs> and then Ricky Wilrich is quarterback. Be, he's, he's my quarterback on the floor, too. He's your point he's guard. He's my point guard. He just got unstopped. It, engines don't stop. It, it's I, I love that you're a guy that loves basketball but understands that in a small school, these kids got to play different sports. You believe in that wholeheartedly. Oh, yes. Why is that important to you that they play multiple sports? <laughs> For the fact that you know, when, when when a parent or a coach says, hey, I'd like you to do this for you, you're, the, the pressure on you mm -hmm. to perform in one sport, why not go and enjoy yourself in others? I, I don't care if, you know, if football is your best sport, that's fine. You do whatever you want. But don't miss out on the opportunity of going to basketball, baseball, or track. or yeah. You know, experience the whole thing. And like we said, nobody's going to NFL, the NBA, you know. Yeah. Enjoy, enjoy. Uh, I don't know if anybody else can hear the Christmas music behind us, so that leads me to the last question here, Coach. Um, Christmas, very special time of year for so many people. It's a, it's a roller coaster ride as you go through life. Why is Christmas so important to you? What do you want under your tree this year? Oh, man. Um, it is so neat to get everybody home, all my three kids come home. Uh, Thanksgiving is with that sometimes, yeah. but Christmas – uh, my youngest will be able to come home for a little bit, get together for a few days. Uh, his college, they're going to Las Vegas for Christmas. Oh, man. So, but, but DJ family to me is everything. Yeah. Uh, um, I will do it. I just, I, I've had a blessed life. That's awesome. I love it, Coach. Merry Christmas to you. So much appreciate you sitting down with us. Thank you to RC Compounding, Gianni's, uh, for having us sit down here. This is like Seinfeld style, so <laughs> enjoying every second of it. Coach, thank you so much. DJ, appreciate you. I appreciate you Merry so Christmas. Much what you do. Thank you. Thank you, sir. There you go. Oh, thanks, Deech. You got it, buddy. Anytime. I, uh, I love Anthony. Oh, yeah. I, I love him and his mom. I just, I love them. They're wild, huh? <laughs> they are wild. Thanks, Thanks coach. Thank you.